I'm in a long relationship, on a long distance relationship, is it right as a Christian for my partner to stay in my house overnight? And if no, where she, where will, where will she stay if she comes to visit? Okay. So sometimes this is my challenge with young people. When I define my mouth, that's what it is. <laughs> um, if the person stays in your house. First of all, you know, the Bible says you should also flee the appearance of evil. So it's not just evil you should flee, also the appearance. So you are in that house as a young man, your fiancé comes and stays over. Let's even assume nothing happened. When you wake up tomorrow morning and you come out from the house and she too she comes out from the house, can you go and preach to your neighbor that Jesus is Lord? So sometimes we need to also think about the appearance of it apart from the actual then secondly why are you tempting satan because as if somebody is your fiance that means that there must be at least some sexual tension between both of you there should be some sexual attraction this one is not satan tempting you you are the one that carried yourself and went to tempt satan and so if you are two of you are in the house and let's even assume that you say she should sleep in the room you sleep in the parlor is it not door the door not open that's how you say you want to go and drink water, you will now pass. And as you were going, you just say you should talk her in well. And as you were talking her in well, you just say you should just lie down small. Before you know it, you are nine months pregnant. So some things, some things we don't need to use our full mouth to tell you. As my mother would say, use your tongue to count your teeth. 